<laughs> I'm 33 years old and this is my shop. It took a while to get to where it's at, but I still got a lot of work to do. I'm a designer, maker, breaker. I call myself a lot of things because I do a lot. Motorcycles aren't my primary hobby. Everything's my hobby, fixing people's crap and neighbor's mower and friends broken aluminum, this or that. When I was a young kid, I was always interested in how things worked. I would steal my dad's tools and you know, rip things apart, nickel stuff, and that really intrigued me. Growing up, my dad always would say, don't you get on a bike, they're dangerous. My brother actually bought a, an old motorcycle, an old Honda, and he was hiding at the neighbor's house. And he would ride it every now and then, and you know, I was like, man, that's freaking cool. And I would ride like go-karts and four-wheelers, and I'm like, man, I just love anything on wheels with an engine. I figured my brother, you know, bought a bike and hit it, and I'm gonna do the same thing. But it never got to that point because my dad started getting interested in motorcycles. I've gone through a lot of motorcycles, but this one here is pretty much my pride and joy. It's an 05 Yamaha R1 with extensive work done to it. It was wrecked, street fightered, not bought in pieces, had two of them. And I have another fleet of motorcycles that are behind the camera here. I have a 66 British BSA, 99 Ducati Super Sport 750. And I'm doing a scrambler build with. My wife has a 2005 Yamaha R6. I work on customizing motorcycles for a series, so you guys should check that out too. I've done a lot of shit in my life. I did some music production work, photography, I've made custom knives, I weld, I cut, I have a mill and lathe, I make my own parts when I need to. And I always try to do everything on my own because I don't like relying on people and I want to learn how to do it. I used to paint, airbrush, wide bodies, I mean anything, turbo, superchargers, nitrous. My love for cars is just as equal as my love for motorcycles. I do a lot, I want to learn, and if I don't know, I'll teach myself, which is one of the greatest things that I can say about myself. My wife and I decided to buy this house. I never thought that I would have a garage as big as this. This was just perfect. She got her pool, I got my, I call it my house. She lives up there, I live down here. For the last two years, it was nothing but blood, sweat, and tears. I've done most of it on my own. I've had help from, you know, family and friends. It's been endless hours in here, and I can honestly say that I'm really exhausted, but very happy. The shop is coming along. There's shit like that's not like even set up, like my English wheel and the two benders and all that stuff. I re really take a lot of pride in this garage because this is where I'm gonna spend a lot of my time. I love making stuff. I like, I love using my hands. I love spending time out here building stuff, but at the same time, stuff migrates over like neighbors and families vehicles you know it's broken can you fix it but it's okay my r1 the gentleman was in an accident he then turned into a street fighter because it was too expensive to put it back together i had a machinist do some engine work another friend painted it that was the first bike that i haven't painted myself i have done a lot of modifications to this motorcycle and it's quite fast for what it is my 66 bsa has a hard tail the engine's completely built. I have not done a lot of the work on it myself, and I do give credit to, to all the people that were involved in, in building it so far, but from here on, everything's gonna be done exclusively in here by me. The Ducati, I have a really cool story about that bike. I've been looking for this platform. I wanted a Super Sport for the longest time. I just couldn't find one that was priced okay, and I, you know, sometimes I'm a cheap ass. So I looked and looked and couldn't really, couldn't really find one. And a buddy of mine actually had one that I had no idea. Stored away in a, in a shed because it, you know, had some issues and was, the harness was out and the thing needed some help. I came home with it one day. I got it running in like 40 minutes. I already hacked it all up and, you know, the rear end's cut off and I got parts just laying in boxes screaming for me to hook this bike up. I am building like a scrambler out of it with knobby tires and custom dual stainless exhaust that I'm gonna take up and this tank is getting all stripped down and with a big old headlight in the front, like a vintage headlight, you know, just because I can. I'm gonna strip it down to just the frame and the tank are pretty much gonna be the center focus. It's gonna be a solo seat. 
and it's gonna be fucking badass. It's gonna have an LED taillight off of like a random brand new motorcycle. Somebody's gonna donate a taillight probably and a lot of parts that I have in boxes, I don't even know what they came off of, but I'll fabricate them on that bike. And it'll be a bike that, you know, when it's pouring rain out, I'll be on it. When it's sunny out, I'll be on it. When it's snowing out and people are yelling at me to get off the road, I'll flick them off and just keep riding around anyways. It'll be like, like a bike that I can just take anywhere, ride it through puddles and streams and crap, you know? And that's one thing about me, I, I don't trailer a bike unless it's like broken down. I hate that cliche, like life is too short. Life is long, you just gotta like utilize your time properly and do what you love to do. Passion, being dedicated to something that you wanna see bloom into something bigger. I ride it all in any weather, you know, I don't bitch. Oh, it's too cold. And the last bike, my wife's R6, she wanted, oh boy, the wife. Where do I start? Um, the wife wanted a motorcycle and I said, no, you know, I saw a little bit of my dad in that, but it's because, you know, I worry. We found an 05 R6 in the same color as my R1. So we had to get it. She got it, she rode it, she dumped it. I didn't tell you that. She's awesome on it now. Our quality time isn't, you know, hey honey, like let's go to the movies. It's like, hey, let's go out to the open road and rip around and she can rev at me at the red light and she thinks he's cool. Can I talk about the ring? When I'm talking about it and saying I actually cut it from the frame and I didn't damage any of the paint, so like the ring has the original Ducati paint on it and I'm wearing that bitch.